Hey, 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 hey. I ain't like that intro, hold up. It sound corny and fake. Hey. I wonder when I'm out, do I do that? Look, I've been in the house for a long time. But I think when I see my friends, no, I know, look. When I see my friends real talk, I'm like, what's up? What's up? I'm like that. So that's how I really be doing it. So when I see y'all, I want to be like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What, where y'all be? What's up? What's up? But <sighs> people be hating. They're like, she loud. Oh, she loud. So, so, so I am loud, but it is what it is. So for all my folks that don't want to be around nobody loud, hey, how? Hello. How are you doing today? Good, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing well as well. And all my other people, what's up? What's up? What's really, really good? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Y'all know I don't have like a old proper introduction. I'm just out here freestyling it. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I like. It's 2021. If this pandemic ain't taught you nothing else, it should have taught you to do exactly what it is that you like, be yourself, and that's it. So that's what I'm out here doing. My name is Angie Baltimore. This is my YouTube channel and I welcome you. I'm excited that you stopped by. I am sitting in the middle of my under construction closet um, and this is my safe spot. This is my safe space. I play around in clothes. It helps me with my mental health, especially during um, lockdown with this pandemic because we can't go in and move around as freely as we used to. So I use this as a part of my therapy and some of y'all like it. So I'm excited. So I need you guys to do me a favor. If you like my content, if you like my videos, if you like anything about what you experience on my channel please subscribe please turn on your notifications please like please share please tell somebody um making videos and creating content is not easy so like it's a lot of work that goes into it of course like you don't have to do it it's something that i like to do and I'm not saying that it's a lot of work to get any sympathy or anything. I'm just saying it's a lot of work and um, and you work really hard to put out really good stuff, you know, for people like you to enjoy. And if you guys come back, it means that you obviously enjoy some of the video or something. Or maybe y'all just like to hear me talk or maybe, I don't, I don't know, but however. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Today, 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 today. Um, today I'm gonna talk about some of the really nice items and some of the not so nice items that I picked up um, during the pandemic. This is a Gucci video. All items are from Gucci. Either the Gucci store, either um, a Gucci outlet or I purchased off Poshmark which I will talk about all the above when I pick up each item so also don't forget to head over to my um, my Instagram I keep looking down at my phone y'all Ugh. So I'm gonna have to edit this video, like, and that's gonna take a whole nother day and a half. But however, cause I keep looking at my phone, I'm looking over here, these light, these lights, it's just a lot going on. But anyhow, <laughs> um, I, I really 
really love this outfit that I have on. And I hope if you guys are not following me already, I hope that you guys are going to follow me at Watch Me Be More on Instagram. That way you can see my entire outfits. I really love this outfit. It's so, so cute. It's a Forever 21 top. I have some really cute um, kind of like Paperboy sequin pants that I picked up from H&M. They are still available. I also have a really, really nice um, pearl necklace that um, was gifted to me um, a couple, a few years ago. Yeah, it's funny how time's passing by. But um, beautiful pearls. They were purchased at Sissy's Log Cabin in Little Rock, Arkansas. They're really beautiful. They're timeless. I'll never get rid of them. I love them. And, um... And yeah, that's it. I have a cross on my shirt. I love this shirt. Like, I always love this shirt. But anyhow, let's get into this Gucci situation. All right. So, I, like many of you, during the pandemic, when the pandemic first started, like when we first heard about COVID-19 and, you know, there was a lockdown, um... You know, and all of that crazy stuff. So, I'm in the house um, ordering books, um, going crazy on Amazon, ordering all kind of stuff. And I stumble across Poshmark. I had, of course, I had heard about Poshmark and, um, you know, I heard about people buying stuff and selling stuff and all that kind of thing. Um, but I just never really was a real huge fan of Poshmark. To be honest, I really have never really been a fan of buying um, like designer, secondhand designer items. Only because um, like I always get scared that I'm going to get caught up in a situation. Like I'm going to get a knockoff and I pay like real money. Don't get me wrong. Like I, like I'm very transparent and I am like that girl. Let me tell you. So when I was in college, when I was spending my days in Greensboro, North Carolina, having the absolute best time of my life, like had a ball, an absolute ball. Shout out to Bennett College changed my life anyhow when I was in North Carolina um that was the first time that I was close to like a uh, a major city like Philly um um DC um uh, in New York so those were my three places like I absolutely loved them I'm from Arkansas born and raised and at that time I had never been to the east coast the furthest I had been was North Carolina so, of course, when you get to college, what do you do? You meet, like, incredible people. You meet dope friends, and they take you all over the world. So, I had friends. I had, i never forget the first time I met uh, some of my girlfriends from D.C. Fell in love with them. Their pair of Suko jeans, the Timberlands, the BB shirts, and the go-go music. So, y'all know I'm not lying, because all of that was a D.C. girl's dress code. Oh, and those, uh... Single ease twist, whatever them braids. That was y'all whole situation. That was y'all dress code. Like that was it. So anyhow, me being on the East Coast introduced me to a lot of things. One of the things it introduced me to was Canal Street in New York. Canal Street in New York, when I was in college, which was over twenty years ago, was booming. Not like Canal Street now. If you go to Canal Street now, you, you know, can pick up maybe a, uh, uh, I don't even know what you can pick up on Canal Street now. I haven't been in so long. But the last time I went, I think, like, you can get, like, a, a knit hat and glove set, like, if you're really cold or something like that. When I went to Canal Street for the very first time, um, I went with a friend whose mom was doing like a bus trip. So you pay like $20 and you get on the bus, go and you shop on Canal Street and you shop in Jamaica, Queens, New York. And then you drive back. Um, we were leaving out of Pennsylvania at that time. So you drive back to, to Philly. One of the best experiences I ever had. So anyhow, 
fast forward to the good part. At that particular time, you could buy a Louis Vuitton bag on Canal Street that was so close, you had to buy it. I bought it. I bought a couple of them. Um, over the course of my college years, I would go back and forth to New York and, um, you know, pick up pieces here and there that I thought were really cute and enjoyed it. You know, I, I was good. It was just like that whole situation on Sex in the City. Like, you know, when Samantha was like, she knew this guy who had a Fendi baguette and it was a knockoff, some, some, some. It was that whole scenario for me. Until... I think I had probably, oh God, maybe two or three, two or three bags for sure. And then one time, got a bag and that strap broke. And that was the end of buying knockoffs for me. That was it. So the quality started to change. Um, the internet started to come out camera phones were coming out so people were taking pictures um and some of these luxury brands they really weren't they went down for for this counterfeit knockoff situation so the quality of a knockoff started going like down 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 and so i started to you know take a taxi up to fifth avenue and compare the prices and believe it or not at that time it was a little um a Louis Vuitton bag that was really popular. It was called the Pochette. And I, I don't have it. It's packed away. Um, but that was... That wasn't the first bag that I bought. Um, was that the first? No, that wasn't the first bag I bought. The first bag that I actually bought or actually went and got from the Louis Vuitton store as an adult was this um bag and i believe it is called the mousset salsa i believe the mousset salsa and this bag was um bought in 2000 maybe nine, 1999 i think i think it was like 99 um still in excellent condition and i know this bag was not 600 dollars, but i had probably spent a thousand dollars by knockoffs on Canal Street and I don't have any of those knockoffs anymore um, broke or either gave them away because I didn't want them to break like mid uh, breakdown dancing on the dance floor and your purse breaking all your contents fall out no nope, it's not gonna happen with this anyhow so look I didn't jumped all into Louis Vuitton this ain't even a Louis Vuitton video but I was talking about buying stuff designer items on secondhand sites. I just wasn't into it because of the previous experiences. But now you have all types of sites like Fashion File, um, Poshmark, um, uh, What Goes Around Comes Around. It's, uh, what Goes Around Comes Around has a boutique in New York where you can go in and see all of the items where they have people that are um, vested in selling and reselling um, designer items that are authentic in mint condition or very very good condition so there's not like you're gonna buy some crap but well, that's what they say so let's jump right into it all right so I am really into like um, anything old school vintage like Gucci logo any type of cheese um monogram anything like that like i'm into it so and i love denim denim is my absolute favorite fabric i like a denim jacket i like a denim dress i like a denim bag i like a pair of denim shoes i like anything denim i'm down for it so i was on poshmark and i have this gucci hat and i wear it a lot and just the um regular brown monogram i bought it maybe two years ago um and i wear it like whenever i'm having a bad hair day i just throw it on my head and put a face on and it's you still looking cute this particular hat was on poshmark and um it was in really good condition i don't know if you guys can see 
it had the serial number it came with the actual receipt where it was purchased um no makeup no no it was just a really good good find so i end up buying this and i um i really don't have any regrets i think that this was i think maybe like two hundred dollars now the thing with poshmark poshmark you can bid or um like offer a price for items and the person who's selling the actual item can either counter the offer or they can just decline it all together so um it's cool poshmark does take a, a pretty nice percentage but um they also will authenticate any items over 500 dollars. so it's you know it is what it is it's one of those things where um you know you taking a chance but so i really love this this hat this hat came out like in 09 and i liked it so i got it and that's that my second item is from it's also from poshmark this is um like a tootsie roll or candy vintage gucci bag um it was in really really good uh shape i thought you know i was like oh wow i gotta have that like um this was a reissue in 20 this is 2021 i think it was like the 1920 um season with gucci gucci did it in all white like a chalk white or a cocaine white and i actually got it it seems like my my lipstick is running i hope not but anyway, anyway, so this, um, I got this, I got this bag from Poshmark and I really, really enjoyed it because I wanted the one from Gucci. I actually did get it for Christmas, but then I changed my mind because I was like, this is a little pricey. It was from the runway collection and I didn't know how much I was really going to wear it and not only that the strap was really really long and i'm i'm five i'm really five three but i always say i'm five four but i'm five three and so it was like long on my body so i was like i'm gonna pass so i ran across this joint fell in love with it the the person who was selling it was very transparent said that there were some um cracks on the strap and um they took pictures and all of that but it was only a hundred dollars and i was like I, I can chance it so of course i get it and the cracks like as soon as you pick the bag up it's like cracking and it's like that dry like it let's see if you can see it right here yeah so that's one little part but anyhow so what i did i took it to a really good cobbler and had them cut the strap um just so it wouldn't be a total loss for me because all like this was really long but it had multiple like cracks in the strap like that so basically it's kind of like an evening bag for me now it's not a bag that you can carry um and think you're gonna have it like all day because the it's, the the strap is just too too weak it really is um i may even carry it like a clutch i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm not gonna get rid of it i may possibly see if i can add like a chain link to it that would be really dope but um the cobbler just wasn't um he wasn't gonna do it he didn't want to mess it up so i you know i'm not sure like where the bag was purchased or anything um so it does have the serial number and um you know it's a good little little piece if you like bags like I do so that's that um what else did I buy okay um the third thing that I bought from Gucci was this little camera bag and so it's metallic pink and mint green like a metallic mint green it has the interlocking g's the gold and the silver like when i saw this bag i was in love with it i always knew i wanted it um, i have a pair of gucci um pink sandals that i love um so i always knew that i i like this bag and i wanted it so of course i 
you know, begged and whined and cried and put it on my birthday list and all that kind of stuff and ended up getting it. But the straps were still just a little long for me. This is how it looks in the inside. It has a really, really pretty like floral lining. I think you guys can see that uh, and it's pretty you know I like it here's a little uh, Gucci sleeper or dust bag and this is it like it's it's dope I like it um it still is a little long I'll try to get some pictures I'll style it with something probably like all denim or something um I did I purchased this at the Gucci store there was a pop-up Gucci outlet in Maryland and um, I purchased this this is not a purchase that I had to have like I wish that I would have waited um, because there's definitely a couple of other things that I wanted the original price was um, can you guys see it the original price was $1,259 and I paid let's see six hundred dollars for it so not too bad um it's never been carried outside of this closet never seen the light of day um and i actually have it up on my poshmark i may have to lower the price because i didn't realize it was that cheap so that is that if you're interested in it you can head over to my poshmark and buy it yeah so that's that it's okay so now let's get to the good stuff. The stuff that like I really, really have been keeping my eye on. So this next item, it's really kind of still in the box. Love, 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 love these. These are really, really, really cute. They are a part of, these remind me of like, um, the show pose. I don't know if you guys are fans of Pose or I don't know if you're even aware of Pose but Pose is like um a show based in like the 80s and it's based on like the underground ballroom scene and I absolutely love it like I love the fashion in Pose and I just oh I just get lost in it so when I saw these boots I was like oh my god these boots look like somebody in Pose had them on these boots are by Gucci. They are um, leather, like a camel color leather. And they um, they have a lace. I'm going to lace it up really quick for you. They have a really cute lace and they are pleated. So, they're dope. Boom. Like, come on very working girl very uh, you know ugh, like i can walk all day in this it has a little g on the back double g on the back a very subtle sleigh you know i really like this um i wanted this boot to go with this particular bag um it's a really cute little combo like when you put it all together so i'll try to make sure i post something with this in it um, it over a little bit. Um, so that's that. These were they're brand new, still haven't worn them because of the pandemic. I haven't been out anywhere like that. Um, I want to say these were like right at five hundred dollars. Oh my god, my my battery is about to die. Okay, so that's that. Let me stop this and then start back up. <laughs> now you know what I'm gonna keep going right? until it just cuts off maybe it won't cut off until because I only have three more items okay so then I went I got those at they actually went on sale um at the at the not dealers at the um Gucci store which was cool because my I'm really loyal to um my sales people like if you know, if I buy something from you, I like to